Okay, hello, Dr. Bill here. Today we're going to take a look at understanding mean, median, and mode. Frequently these concepts are confused, so we want to go through a problem here and make sure you understand them all well. Okay, if this lesson is valuable to you, please subscribe to the channel if you have not, like the video, share with anyone who could benefit, and hit the bell icon to be notified of all future videos. Okay, first of all, let's try to get the concepts of mean, median, and mode straight. Then we'll take a look at the problem. So here, uh, mean is also known as average or arithmetic mean, right? You see this, you know, any of these three ways on the PSAT, SAT, ACT, and other standardized tests, right? So we need to remember that they are the same thing. Frequently the tests will talk about mean and then put arithmetic mean in parentheses, right? So here, as an example, let's say we could do something uh, in the way of a diagram here to kind of make it clearer, right? If we draw a pie chart, and I do have some problems on here with averages that illustrate how to do the pie chart, right? Let's say, for example, we divide the pie in half and then divide the southern hemisphere in half, right? And then here, we're going to have the number of things. So we put number. Here we have the average. And then here we will have the total. So if um, we have, let's just say hypothetically, five exams in which you have an average score of 90. We multiply these two things, so we multiply going across, and 5 times 90 would be 450. So if you had five exams with an average of 90, you will have achieved 450 total points. If we divide those 450 points by 5, you have your average of 90. If you divide your 450 total points by your average of 90, you have your five exams. So we multiply going across and up and divide going down, right? And again, um, it's sort of a simple way of looking at it, but if you're a visual learner, that may help you, right? Okay, so now here the median is simply the number in the middle. If you have a set of numbers, right, arranged from low to high. Now you need, when you're figuring out a median, you need to always make sure that you do arrange your numbers from low to high, right? So for example, if we have an odd number of numbers, it's quite easy, right? For instance, if you have 4, 6, and 8, then clearly the median is 6, right? But if you have an even number of numbers, let's add 10 to this list, right? The mean, median, rather, is going to be the average of the two middle numbers, right? So the average of 6 plus 8 is 7, right? Because 6 plus 8 is 14. 14 divided by the number of numbers, which is 2, would give us 7. So again, if we have 4, 6, 8 as our set, the median is 6. If we have 4, 6, 8, 10, it's the average of the middle two numbers, which would be 7, right? Okay, mode. Mode is simply the most frequent number. So here, one way I remember it is big M, big O, mode equals most right? Big M, big O. So the most frequent numbers. So if we have a set of uh, five numbers, in this case, four, six, eight, ten, and ten again, then ten would be the mode because it occurs twice, right? It is important to add that mode. Uh, there might be more than one mode. So if we had, for instance, four, four, six, ten, ten, 
then the mode would be both 4 and 10 because it would appear twice, right? So now with these things in mind, let's take a look at uh, a problem here. So it says, El Mayoral LLC's employees have a mean salary of $100,000 per year and a median salary of $60,000 per year. Question, why is there such a discrepancy in the mean and median salaries at this company, right? So let's see the answer choices. We have here some employees have salaries that are much lower than the rest. Most employees have salaries that are between 60000 and 100000 per year. Most employees have salaries that approach $100,000, or some employees have salaries that are much higher than the rest. Okay, well, let's think about this for a second, right? It says that the median salary is $60,000 a year, right? So that means that's the one in the middle, right? So this is the middle figure. All right. However, the uh, the mean salary, the average salary is a hundred thousand dollars, right? So here, a hundred thousand would be our mean or average, right? If most of the salaries are, um, or I'm sorry, if the middle, right, the median is sixty thousand dollars then how would our average salary get to be $100,000, right? Well, it wouldn't be that some employees have salaries that are much lower than the rest. If that were the case, then obviously it would be going down, not up, right? If most employees have salaries that are between sixty dollars and $100,000 a year, it wouldn't mean that this middle salary would move to $100,000 as an average, right? And most salaries, uh, most employees rather, have salaries that approach $100,000 would not be right either. It wouldn't matter how many approach $100,000. We would need the uh, average salary to be $100,000. So how would that happen? Well, if the middle uh, salary is $60,000, but the average is 100000 it would mean that probably few employees have salaries that are much higher than the rest, right? This would bring the number here that is in the middle to a much higher average. Let me give you an example. What if, for instance, you had three people that made fairly low salaries but then we added Elon Musk's yearly salary to the mix, right? Well, clearly the average would go way up because Elon Musk is so wealthy. And that would mean that um, really he's the only reason why that, you know, average salary is moving so high. The median salary of those four would be, you know, obviously pretty low. So here again, you add uh, a, an employee or some employees that have very high salaries, then that would bring the median way up to a much higher average. So our answer here is D as in dog, okay? I hope this lesson on mean, median, and mode was helpful. If it was, again, please subscribe. Like the video, hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos, and please share with anyone who could benefit. This is Dr. Bill. Thank you very much, and we'll see you on the next video.